Hello and welcome to a Syscard video tutorial. My name is Sergey and today we are going to speak about newsletters, their settings and features related to them. Let's begin. First I would like to show you the newsletters add-in and its settings. Let's go to the add-ins, manage add-ins. And after that find our add-in. Hmm, here we go. Newsletters. Here you can configure how many newsletters are sent per step, by default it's 10. You can choose how to send your newsletters via default settings, via SMTP server or via PHP mail function. Here you can also set up your SMTP server settings and add promotions to your newsletters. Alright, now let's go to the main newsletters page. Marketing, newsletters and here we have six tabs i'll be moving from bottom to the top so subscribers all right subscribers there are two ways to add subscribers to the newsletters the first is uh, manually add subscribers with a plus button from the admin panel just add subscriber enter its email choose the language of this subscriber and it's done oh choose from the list of the customers this way done now we have a new subscriber you can also search for the subscribers by using this search panel and you can switch between tabs with this panel now let's go to the mailing list no i'm sorry the second way of adding a person to the newsletter for this we need to go to the storefront register as a customer and proceed to the checkout. Let me show you. I have already registered. By the way, during the registration process you can also subscribe to the newsletters. Let's go and buy something. Add to cart. Checkout. Oh, I need to enter the name. Continue. Continue other payment options and um, this panel we can sign up for the newsletters just click phone ordering submit my order and done we have been subscribed let me show you as the admin let's refresh the page here is the new subscriber with this panel you can change the language and with the gear button you can delete the subscriber from the list of subscribers now let's move to the mailing list Mailing lists group different types of subscribers and different types of newsletters. Here you can delete, manage subscribers, edit already existing mailing lists, change its status, add new mailing lists and uh, look at how many subscribers in this mailing list. Now let's take a look at the settings. You can change the name, name, name of sender from email reply to email confirmation email with autoresponder where to show at the checkout at the registration and profile details pages here you can manage subscribers with this button and change the status i guess that's it don't forget that we use it to manage subscribers and divide them into different groups now let's go to the campaigns campaigns group not subscribers but newsletters you can include the newsletters of the same type in one campaign with plus button you can add new campaigns just give it a name and choose the status that's it about it let's move to the next category autoresponders autoresponders an autoresponder is a typical message that is automatically sent to a customer in response to some actions Usually, autoresponders are associated with mailing lists. With plus button you can create a new autoresponder. That's it about them. Let's move to the templates. Templates. A template is a pattern that can be used for a quick creation of a future newsletters. Let's take a look at one of them. Sample layout. Subject. And HTML body. Here we have the greetings the text of the newsletter and uh, other useful information. For example, unsubscription link, 
and the company name. Also, templates can be used not just as full letters, but as parts only. I will show you this during the newsletter creation process. So let's go and create the new newsletter. Let's create a new newsletter. Let's call it promotion. Just promotion, it doesn't really matter. Subject, random subjects, one per one. They will be randomly chosen from the list. Then the newsletters will be sent to your customers. HTML body. You can add pictures here. I don't know, even videos or just text. Enjoy our promotion. We can choose the templates from the list of the templates if you have lots of them. For now we have only one, so let's choose it. Sample layout, load. Done. We have added the template to our newsletter. Let's enter our text here. It was deleted. So I recommend you to add templates first. Campaign. Yeah, we can assign this newsletter to one of the campaigns. Send to mailing lists. Let's choose this mailing list. Or we can send it to the selected customers. This way. So there is no need in this. Or you can use both. Customers with random cards. Wish list, card or wish list for which is okay. You can set parameters for the abandoned cards here and send to test email if you wish. You can also preview the newsletter. You can just save it or save and send. Let's save and send it to our customers. Good. Now let's take a look at the email. Here is our newsletter. Promotion. Let's take a look inside. Enjoy our promotion. Oh, I think I should have deleted that. Okay. And uh, the unsubscription link. You just click it and you unsubscribe from the mailing list. Well, oh, I sent two of them. No, it doesn't really matter. Okay, that's how newsletters work. And by the way, this is the standard functionality of CS card. As you can see, it's really rich and flexible. So you can do lots of things with that. As you have seen, you may create new templates with unique look for your newsletters. You can create autoresponders and uh, which is more, you can create unique and stylish newsletters with promotions for your customers. All right, guys, that's it about newsletters, the standard functionality of CS card. In the next video, I'll be speaking an email marketing admin that is related to the MailChimp and MedMimi services. So stay tuned, thanks for watching and see you in the next CS card video tutorials.